what's up? It's Melody and today we're going to be talking about minimalism and organization and I created my channel basically to explain all of my favorite organization tips. Minimalism is really important to me because it allows me to go after everything that is important to me and I have created this channel as a way, as an experiment of sorts, to prove that you can have everything, everything that you want, a successful career, great travel experiences, an awesome wardrobe. You can have everything you want within minimalism. I know that there is somebody out there, maybe it's not me, but there's somebody out there with arts and crafts and a lot of plants. There is somebody living the minimalism that you would love to live, that you would enjoy living. So my channel is a, an experiment. My channel is an ongoing project to prove that a great life and a full life lies in being intentional about what you purchase and about what you spend your time on. So I hope that you will join me on this channel, but for now we're going to be talking about the living room. And with the living room, I did a video about a year ago on modules in the living room. I cut down my living room supplies by about half after that video because I just realized there were so many things that I was not touching. And even still right now, there are a lot of things in the living room that I don't use a lot. So it's pretty incredible. I'm going to be scanning my papers, a lot of my papers, because I've noticed over the past year, I haven't touched a single thing other than my passport and maybe one or two art projects. So starting in my living room, I have this Method hand wash refill that I found at Whole Foods, which I'm really excited to try out. You guys know how much I love clear and look at how beautiful that looks. Oh my goodness, clear is my color, guys. Okay, I know it's not a color, but it is my shade. So this is the living room and I keep it bare because that fits my personality and my lifestyle. So really, when you're downsizing, you want to know your personality very well so you don't go overboard. When it comes to books, I keep five hard copies of books at least at any given time, five to 10. I limit myself because I give them away when I'm done reading them and I'll buy them on Kindle if I wanna go over them again. I'm thinking about moving to the Bay Area, San Francisco, so definitely I don't wanna be collecting too much. I live in the South. So as appropriate, I have a beautiful rocking chair and I love that thing. I love it. It's a waterproof one, so it's not going to get old and rickety. So I use a... Oh, hello there, Pat. How are you doing this evening? I have this Time magazine that I absolutely love because it was their health issue, which I usually never ever buy magazines, but I have a couple of Pottery Barn magazines and the Time magazine and it has a lot of color. It was a very interesting, it was right up my alley. It was very much about taking care of yourself and health. And I said, sign me up. So I bought that magazine and I always have a couple books on me. So right now I've been reading the Alexandria Quartet, which I have in the bedroom. It's a series of books. I always have my shredder and there is a trash can behind there. And I will go ahead and shred whatever needs to be shred right away. I have my Miramo ball, which I need to change out his water. And I have my camera, my vlogging camera, because I need it at a moment's notice. I made this Steno machine artwork, but it really needs paint. I, I rough sketched it because I wanted to paint it. I never got around to it, but it's got to get, it needs some color. And my blanket, I always have one blanket out because Pat likes to sleep on a blanket and it just makes, it makes the couch more comfortable. And when there gets to be too much fur, because Pat is always shedding fur, especially in the summertime, I will go and squeegee down this couch, squeegee it without water. <laughs> I'll squeegee it down so that I can remove all of the cat fur. In this he area here, I have the remote for the TV. I also have my book. And in the back, I have a cord box, which I highly recommend cord boxes. They make the area look so good. So that's my phone cord. But I also have a remote control to turn on all the lights whenever I want to. When I want to turn things on when it gets nighttime, I just go like that. Voila. So you can see that I was cleaning. I have this blanket here, which I almost never fold, but I particularly did it for you guys because you guys are my guests right now. I am a low energy person, so I do what I can. 
and most of the time I just throw it to the side. But if a guest is coming over, I'll go the extra mile. So the very first drawer here is basically all of my camera equipment, all of my office supplies, and also my receipts. So every time I come home and I need to save a receipt, which is very rarely, I will go ahead and put it in here. If you can cut down your shopping outside of the house and buy most things online, and if you can cut down the amount of returns you have to do, you barely even have to save a receipt. But I am going to take out the scanner because I just sorted through my receipts, which I will show you in just a bit. And I'm going to scan the ones I need to save into the computer and back them up. The second drawer here is my toolbox. Nothing makes me more proud than my toolbox. It is like your makeup collection. It's just as practical as makeup. You might think makeup is not practical, but it actually is. In the real world, you actually get paid a lot more if you wear makeup to work. Unfortunately, this is true. So makeup has a lot of practical applications. So you can do almost anything with just these few tools. I can put up my TV, which I'm about to do this week. I can put up my curtains. I can patch holes. There's almost nothing I can do with these few tools. How crazy is that, guys? There's almost nothing in there. So I'll do a video on just my toolbox soon. In the middle, there is my laptop on the top and in the middle are all the odds and ends for things I've installed over the years. In the bottom here is all of my electronics. So this is my sheet. My sheet box has ma a magnet, which is pretty cool. But I keep all of my electronics. I never grab those things so they don't need to be easily accessible. In this drawer is where my purse would be if I had a purse. <laughs> I don't have a purse anymore and I'm still looking, but I think I found the one that I want, so I'll do another purse video, but I have my passport, my camera, my vlogging camera equipment if I'm going out of the house and I'm going to vlog, and this is what would be in my purse. In this drawer is all of my paperwork and all of my backup supplies, so all of my first aid kit, all of my backup lotion or anything like that, candles, and also Velcro and light bulbs are in the back over there. And cards. So basically everything. Post-its, anything that's backup. And then all of my paperwork. And this piece of paper, it's very special to me because it was one of the very first things I ever printed out when I was younger. I was about 17 years old and I printed this paper out of exactly what I wanted for my life. I had it all planned out. I wanted to live in an area that was very green. I liked the Asian elements because my grandma was full Chinese and I loved, now that bed is not practical because it would be very hard, <laughs> that, that bottom bed, but I was too young to know that. <laughs> I loved forests and I loved the, the blues of the water because of Hawaii. So this was my dream and I liked that little, I liked that little apartment garden. I don't mind living in the city, I just know that I can't live in the middle of nowhere because I would get too lonely. <laughs> so the suburbs or the city is fine by me. I kind of live in the hybrid right now. I live in the middle of the city and also the suburbs. But I wouldn't mind living the San Francisco life for a while, so that would be my garden. <laughs> but I'll probably have some edible plants because it would fit the pragmatic side of me. Last but not least, I have some extra clothes. So I have my panties at the bottom. I have some dresses that I rarely wear and I have winter clothes in this corner and in the back there I have all of my bikinis in that blue bundle and right now I am trying lace free shoes so it's really fun I'll show you guys but it's really fun and it's actually going well so I think I'm gonna keep them but I will not have to tie my sneakers or trip over my sneakers ever again which I'm really excited about I also have candles I rarely ever burn candles, but my favorite candle of all time, still today, is a Joe Malone candle that was bought for me because I just couldn't justify spending that much on a candle. And I really, it means a lot to me because it smells amazing. I only burn it on special occasions. There is a pottery barn mirror here, a full length mirror that is really great for taking pictures and also filtering the light all around the room. 
so that it enhances the room and makes it a lot bigger. I also have Google Chromecast here in the back so that I can watch any movie that I want without having to have a ton of DVDs. Hard books make sense, but hard DVDs are a lot, it makes a lot less sense because you don't get any, any pleasure from having the disc, or at least I don't. So this is my office, and there are my shoes without shoelaces, so I never have to tie my shoes again. It's a little tight, so if you have uh, wider feet, it might not work, but it works pretty well for me. So I have my scanner here, and I'm going to plug it into my work laptop, which I highly recommend Lenovo. If you have the money, you can't beat the quality of a Lenovo laptop, but Dell is the next best. I saved the three categories of receipts because I want to show you the very... Oh, and by the way, here's the TV that I'm going to be mounting soon, which I'll make a vlog on. But I have three categories of receipts. On the right side, I'm just going to trash them. On the left side, I need to go ahead and shred them. So I'm going to take them into the living room and shred them in that trash. That's where I shred everything. And then the bottom receipts, I'm going to go ahead and scan. If you see at the top there, I have a tag that I need to take a picture of. And then therefore, I can back that picture up to Google Drive. But I'm not going to scan that tag, obviously. You guys can see, well, it's very hard to see. But you guys can see that the scanner app is the fourth icon down and the Windows 4 button has opened up the screen then I'm going to hit enter because you want to use the mouse as little as possible because you'll save so much time and energy if you learn just a couple of key commands and even if you're older and, and you don't really see the point it's a great way to keep your mind sharp that's what I've learned about steno so I do stenography and stenography really keeps my mind sharp because I'm always learning new things about politics and race and things like that so it's not a waste of your time because you're learning and learning is never a waste okay so we've got our brother scanner and I'm just gonna grab the very first piece of paper so I can show you how it works and this is a sticker but it can still handle that at the top it says scan I'm just gonna hit that and get this baby going there you go it's already scanned it in, so all we have to do is back it up to Google Drive, which is very easy. If you have a Gmail account, you already have a Google Drive, and it scans color too. Now, I wouldn't recommend scanning photographs. I would recommend sending those out. Get someone that has a really professional, good quality scanner. But if you have lots of photos and you want to take on that task yourself, you can buy a $400 scanner. I just like having a really compact one. I used to keep a receipt holder right here by the door, and I've been patching up those holes. But I don't do that anymore because I just don't own that many receipts. So that's the beauty of getting down to only the essential is that all of a sudden a lot of organizing tools don't have any use for you anymore. So you can save a lot of time. It's cumulative. The time you don't have to spend shopping and returning. The time you don't have to spend organizing. And you, it really opens up your life to a lot of opportunity. I know it's been said a thousand times before, but I can't emphasize how much and how shocking it is the amount of time and energy that you have for the things that you truly value in life when you get rid of all of the distraction and you streamline it to only the things that actually provide quantifiable value to your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you'll give this channel a subscribe so that I can see you next Sunday.